In this example, we're going to see how power series can be used as a tool to solve differential equations. So here I have the differential equation y prime of t minus 3y is equal to 10 um, with y of 0 equal to 2. By differential equation, we just mean a, an equation that has um, a derivative as part of it. So here we're looking for the function y of t that satisfies an equation where its derivative minus 3 times the function itself is equal to 10 with the value at 0 in the function y of t being equal to 2. So we're going to start this um, problem by first trying to figure out what power series would solve that um, equation. Then we're going to try to identify what function um, could be equal or is equal to that power series representation. So we're going to start by assuming that y of t is the solution and has a Taylor series. So it has a Taylor series representation at 0 given by y of t is equal to the sum from k equals 0 to infinity of c k t to the k. Okay, so we have some power series of that form that solves this differential equation where this would be equal to c naught plus c1 t plus c2 t squared, um, etc. Okay, and we know that for a Taylor series, these coefficients would be equal to the kth derivatives evaluated at the center 0 divided by k factorial. So we can figure out what y of t is if we can figure out what this yk of 0 is for all our different values of k. So we'd like to find a formula for that kth derivative at 0. So let's get started with what we know so far. So we know y of 0 is equal to 2. So that gives me um, what happens for k equals 0. So for k equals 1, I'm interested in what happens for, for y prime. So notice that y prime of 0 minus 3 times y of 0 would be equal to 10. So that's just taking the differential equation that we're given. So y prime of 0 is equal to 10 plus 3 times, whoops, times y of 0. And I know y of 0 is equal to 2, so 10 plus 3 times 2. So I get 16 for y prime of 0. So what about the second derivative? Well, notice that y prime of t is equal to, excuse me, y prime of t minus 3y is equal to 10. So if I take the derivative of both sides of that, I have y double prime of t minus 3y prime of t is equal to 0, taking the derivative of both sides. So I get that y double prime of t is equal to 3 times y prime of t. So then my second derivative evaluated at 0 is equal to 3 times the first derivative evaluated at 0. And we knew the first derivative evaluated at 0 was 16. Okay, so I've got what happens for k equals 1 here and what's happening for k equals 2. Okay, so let's keep going with, with this. What about for k equals 3? So notice that if I have my second derivative here, um, y double prime of t equals 3y prime of t. If we take the derivative of both sides of that, we get the third derivative of t is equal to 3 times the second derivative of t. So I'm going to get my third derivative evaluated at 0 is 3 times the second derivative evaluated at 0. My second derivative evaluated at 0 is 3 times 16. So I'm getting 3 squared times 16 now is the value um, where k of, uh, excuse me, my kth derivative of y at 0. So let's just go one more so we can see what the pattern is. So again, notice I've got my third derivative at t was 3 times the second derivative, so my fourth derivative, take the derivative of both sides, we'll have the fourth derivative at t is equal to 3 times the third derivative at t. Let me use the little three in parentheses here. So notice that my fourth derivative at zero is equal to three times the third derivative at zero, and my third derivative at zero was three squared times 16, so I've got three times three squared times 16, or three cubed times 16. So we see um, a pattern that we're getting here. Um, let me use a different color uh, to highlight some things here. So I had y prime was 16, y double prime was 3 times 16. Um, the third derivative here at 0 was 3 squared times 16, and the fourth derivative, 3 cubed times 16. Okay, so let's see if we can write down a formula now. It looks like our 
case derivative evaluated at zero is equal to three to the, let's see if the fourth derivative had a three to the three times 16, it looks like it's the k minus one power on three times 16 for my case derivatives um, at zero. And this is for k equals one, two, three, etc. Okay, so now we've got a formula for our case derivative at zero. So we can say that the power series that's going to satisfy that differential equation would be equal to, well, we've got this sum from k equals one to infinity of three to the k minus one times 16. That's part of our, our CKs here. So that's our yk of zero, k derivative at zero. But then I would have that divided by k factorial and then times my t to the k's, excuse me, t to the k. So that's what's happening for k equals one to infinity. For k equals zero, I just had two. So I have my power series representation here is y of t is equal to two plus the sum from k equals one to infinity of three to the k minus one times 16 t to the k all over k factorial. So that power series is a function that satisfies this differential equation up here. But we also would like to know what function this is, okay? So we think of this problem in two parts. The first part is this sort of new idea of how I can go through taking, taking derivatives of my differential equation and trying to solve for this kth derivative to figure out a power series that solves this differential equation. The second part of this problem though is, is a type of problem that we have done before where I'm given a power series and now I wanna say what function this is. So what function does this power series represent? So we know that power series can often represent functions that we're familiar with, although we also know that a function could just be defined as a power series and not represent um, a named function. But here this does turn out to be equal to a function that we are familiar with. So we have to do a little bit of manipulations to see what this um, might be equal to. So let's rewrite this a little bit. So notice that I could rewrite my y of t as two plus, well, I've got this t to the k and this three to the k minus one. I might like to group things together so I have um, something all raised to the k. So notice that that three to the k minus one could be rewritten, rewritten excuse me, as three to the k times three to the minus one or three to the k over three. So I could have two plus the sum from k equals one to infinity of three to the k times 16 over three times t to the k over k factorial. So I could bring the 16 thirds out in front and put that three to the k and that t to the k together as three t to the k. So I could have this sum, Oops, let me keep the two there. So two plus 16 thirds, the sum from k equals one to infinity of three t to the k over k factorial, okay? So this should remind us maybe of something that we've seen before or if we looked back at our table of known Taylor series. Recall that, or look at the table to see that e to the x is equal to the sum from k equals zero to infinity of x to the k over k factorial. Now I have something that starts at k equals one here instead, um, but I could manipulate this a little bit to figure out um, how I could, could rewrite that series. So notice if e to the x is the sum from k equals zero to infinity of x to the k over k factorial, e to the three t would be equal to the sum from k equals zero to infinity of three t to the k over k factorial, okay? Now k equals zero to infinity, when I would just plug in k equals zero, that would be three t to the zero over zero factorial, which would just be one. So I could rewrite that sum from k equals zero to infinity as one plus the sum from k equals one to infinity of three t to the k over k factorial, okay? So this is since three t to the zero over zero factorial is equal to one. And then I could move some terms around here and say that e to the three t minus one is equal to the sum from k equals one to infinity of three t to the k over k factorial. Okay, so then we can go back over here 
and say that the sum that I have, k equals 1 to infinity, 3t to the k over k factorial, is equal to e to the 3t minus 1. Okay, so then combining all of these pieces together, we have 2 plus 16 thirds e to the 3t minus 16 thirds. So combining the 2 and the minus 16 thirds, okay, I will have that my power series um, representation here is equal to the function 16 thirds e to the 3t minus 10 thirds. So our y of t is equal to this function, and that's the function that solves our differential equation.